the messages on screen to so wouldn't add the initial information becomes available. This station will now see the information. Welcome to the Casual Preppers Podcast. Here are your hosts. Cam and Kobe. Welcome to the Casual Preppers Podcast, the only place for prepping, survival, and entertainment. We are your hosts, Cameron and Kobe, and we're ready to bring survival goodness direct to your ear holes. Here it goes. Here it goes. What's up, buddy? Another dude. <laughs> I don't know. Why is it always so weird when I call you buddy? I don't know what it is. Buddy's weird. It is kind of weird. Um, hey, buddy. What do we got going on today, buddy? Well, well, skipper. <laughs> yeah. Um... We're going to talk about tech, technology yeah. and stuff. Twitter. How it's not a waste of time. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's great. It is. It makes your life better. It, is. it does. It can actually make SHTF better and it more can. comfortable. And even pre-SHTF yeah. better, right? Well, a lot of people are like, technology, you got to go back to the old times. Click mm-hmm. your rocks together. Yeah. Make fires. There's click, no click, reason click. to have all this tech, but yeah boo lighters are too high tech <laughs> yeah you just got a fail rod so if any of you have used tech <laughs> it's super convenient it's nice so yeah. we're gonna talk about how it can still come in useful mm-hmm. and, and make your life way easier and some of the crazy stuff you can do with it too right i mean some super of this is crazy. crazy oh gosh dang. crazy uh, but first, guys, today's podcast is brought to you by our friends at Tac Pack, the only monthly tactical subscription box with useful professional grade stuff inside. Get 10% off your first Tac Pack with our code Casual Preppers at TacPack.com and join the thousands of satisfied subscribers today. That is 10% off with our code Casual Preppers at TacPack.com. What's up, buddy? You all right? I'm tired. <laughs> My phone keeps falling is off. Is that what it crotch. was? Your phone. Oh, man. I like um, when it vibrates. Do you? <laughs> it's the only time I It's the only time you like respond. Listener, to. reviews starts now. Is this just anonymous? Um, There's no name. Yes. Did this, you make this one up? Uh, th- this is from my dad. Is How's it really? That? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know why it doesn't have the name on it. This one says, give it a random listen. Five stars. Oh, give it a random listen. Oh, whatever. whatever. Uh, he says, uh, <laughs> these are usually, give it a random listen, one star. Yeah. It wasn't the one I was looking for. Yeah. It's like, I, I wanted stock tips. Well, that's a good review. Thanks. I wanted stock tips and I got prepping advice. Yeah. Idiots. I know. I, I love when people give <laughs> yeah. one star to stuff like that. Yeah. I meant to order glasses and I got plastic. One star. It's like your own fault. <laughs> this glasses is not the plastic I wanted. <laughs> um, needing a change from political commentary and looking behind the curtain of combat sport performance art. If that translated to pro wrestling, you win a prize to be determined. I randomly gave it a listen. You pretty much had me at mindless banter. These two regular dudes was a great departure from those who, well, are not very casual in their prepping. The natural flow of ideas to shenanigans is what a guy would expect from a couple of guys. Anyone who would get butt hurt making fun of accents might want to take a good, hard, ha <laughs> ha, hard look in the mirror. If you can't laugh at yourself, your buddies, let alone others, who can you laugh at? Plus, earthquake canes are scary as hell. Thanks, fellas. It's <laughs> yeah. good. I like it. That's no. exactly what we want. We want it just to be exactly. chill. It's just like <laughs> friends talking. That's all yeah. we're about. Yeah, if we could find some friends, we'd talk to them. Yeah, because right? well, we're not friends. We're the only friends. <laughs> it's a mad, mad world. So mad. Yeah. Um, it really is kind of a mad, mad world. It is. Every time I go to do this, I'm That's like, it. That's my mad, oh, mad what world. do I do? There's so many <laughs> mad, mad things going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, my wife, even yesterday, like all the stuff with... Uh, <laughs> Um, like murders and kids being abducted. Oh, yeah. Like, like here in Utah, you yeah. know, when I was, we're, we thought we were so sheltered. <laughs> we did. No but kids But she's just murdered. like, what's happening to the world? <laughs> and I was like, mad, mad world. Wait, what my you, wife said. What does your wife sound like? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> she sounds sexy as hell. What's happening? <laughs> That's her normal voice. She wasn't even scared. I know. This is how she talks. <laughs> but, um, um, yeah, yeah, it is. It's chaos, man. Um, it is. Mine's just. Real basic, you know, about the uh, trade war between yeah. the United States and China. Mm. You know, it sounds simple, and it, you know, it's just, it's, I don't know, getting out of hand. There's no good thought put into it. I, I don't swear. know. It's, it's, there's, you can see it on on both sides. I can. You know? Yeah. China are buttholes. <laughs> they uh, are, and they're consuming everything. Yeah, and, you know, they steal technology, and they do lots of stuff that is not good. It's bad things Amen. that they're doing. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, and I don't. I don't either. And I don't know if this is going to help or not. Because it's like you know, this article I read 
it's like we're blocking trade with them, you know, mm-hmm. and shutting off some of their big suppliers. Like I don't even know how to say that dumb um, phone or was it Hawaii? Huawei? That's how you say it. Huawei. Huawei. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I never. I thought it was like Hawaii, like <laughs> spelled in Hawaii, Chinese. Hawaii. Yeah, way. <laughs> no, it's Huawei. Hey yo, hey yeah. <laughs> um, but they uh, so like Intel and all those have stopped, you yeah. know, delivering them chips. And Google is the funny thing is those yeah. chips use rare materials from China oh, like to be developed. Chips? Yeah. They're <laughs> tater chips. Mm. So like yeah. the trade war, you know, you think you're blocking one thing, you can't give them this, but those things that we're blocking mm-hmm. have to be produced by the resources that we get only in China or, or oh. in bulk from China. It's yeah. just a huge freaking mess. And it they're is. just pissing each other off. Then yeah. they get together to talk about it and they spit each other's faces. <sighs> and then they leave. So rude. You're not flying out in our plane? Yeah. Mm. Anyway, it's Wall just play. a big mess. Um, United States not making friends now. China definitely not making friends. No. So it's real fun. Everybody's fighting with everybody. Everybody hates it. It's everybody. a joke. But either way, it's probably not going to be a good thing for the economy. It's not. You look at it, and so just something to take a look at. You know what I mean? Take um, a look at your shirt right now. It's probably yeah, made in China. It probably is. Um, and those take Huawei, a that shirt. Those Huawei phones are supposed to be awesome. How are you? How are you? Yeah, the Huawei Wii Wii yeah, phones. Yeah, they, yeah. Like I've, I've apparently their uh, their cameras are like insanely yeah. good. Like real like optical zoom, like four thousand miles away or something like that. Anyways, um, mine. I went with the uh, natural disasters happening all across the Midwest right now. Have you seen that? Like there's uh, tornadoes in Ohio. Yeah, it's like going nuts. Killed a dude, uh, thousands of people without power. And then Arkansas, did you see all the flooding they're yeah, having? Yeah, that was crazy. <clears throat> so the Department of Emergency Management says it's because of flooding, severe storms, tornadoes, and straight-line winds that began in April. At least six people died in Oklahoma over the past few days. Um, this is from a couple of days ago. But um, there are 77 counties in the state, and every one of them is under a state of emergency. Oh, my gosh. So the- the entire state. Why did you say the whole state? I don't know. <laughs> they, you want to say 77. That's more dramatic. Yeah, it is. 77 <laughs> counties in the state. That's all of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the whole state. Yeah, the whole state. Oh, wow, um, that's crazy, though. I know. Every single one. Every I don't think one. I've ever seen, you know, like Utah, for example. It's mm-hmm. like dry, high desert one area. Yeah. It's like, no way, the whole state. I think our under. we're too diverse in our terrain and our yeah. elevations and Oklahoma's all Oklahoma's like all <laughs> one. What's well, Arkansas? F- Hey, Arkansas is even worse. Ar- Ar- Kansas. <laughs> yeah. Who lives in Arkansas? I don't, I don't know. know. There's people. Isn't that where old Bill Clinton was from, right? Yeah. Arkansas? I thought he was from Oklahoma. No. Yeah. No. It was Little Rock or something like that. Anyways, uh, crazy things are happening. No, no, <laughs> don't, don't do it. Rock. Don't do it. Um, we're going to have to pay him money. <laughs> um, so, Kim, let's talk about what we're talking about today. Uh, we're talking about high tech survival, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, so what made us want to do this? Like, what's the point? Well, I'm kind of a techie. I like... You are a techie. I love technology. You're not a trekkie. It's my favorite. You're not a trekkie. No, no. But, you know, if you look at forums, different websites for prepping, a lot of times they're like, oh, you got to go back to the basics. Which is true. Yeah. You need to learn those skills as well. But we have so many conveniences that can still be extremely useful and make your life much more comfortable. And in some instances, you've got to do it. Like, we're going to talk right. about some cybersecurity stuff. Yeah, exactly. And we've talked so about like this you're, before. but Nope, going back prehistoric, like, you're vulnerable. Yeah, you're vulnerable. So um, our lives are connected to it no matter what. Mm-hmm. You, th- you were born into technology. Uh, yes. You were a piece of technology. Yes. <laughs> Biometrics. So anyways, yeah, we, we figured let's just discuss some of the things that are, yeah. like, usable and very useful and would make surviving way more convenient Mm -hmm. so let's go let's get into it let's happen so a big part of that is power um just recently we had i think i'd mentioned it in the other episode just we had a power outage it was planned Mm -hmm. you know and my kids lost their freaking minds yeah um they have a little fan in their room and it went off and night light and they're like yeah all night i was like scrounging around trying to find batteries and you know Mm -hmm. i had a bunch of survival lights but I, I couldn't produce that sound, you know, that's like, yeah. ah, that's too loud. That's too clicky. <laughs> so anyway, too um, clicky. <laughs> <laughs> that one makes a humming noise. I'm scared. <laughs> so anyway, that's it was kind of a fan. nightmare. And I was like, I'm going to look into those portable generators. Mm-hmm. They're solar power. They don't because your power's out. You know, the, the last thing you want to hear is somebody. Oh, no. You're like, hey, you're like, you're at a campground or something and like, 
two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And you're like, oh my God. I remember my parents doing it. Now though, they're like super restricted. You oh know? yeah. It's like yep. no power after 7 a PM and AM. And yeah. Anyway. So I was like, I'm going to look into those solar. Well, some of them it, it's crossover portable solar generators. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't use fuel. There's no exhaust. They're just a big freaking dry battery. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, so they, they, they range from like 180 watts up to, you know, 300. Some of them have a surge up to 600 watts and they last for hours. They can, they have port, they have like a regular, um, a regular like household port that you're used to plugging. So in is this, appliance. are you talking about like a straight up solar generator or what are we talking about? No, sorry. Yeah. So there's portable generators that are just like the dry cell battery that don't charge by solar that you okay. can get on Amazon. You usually charge they're, it from your regular power. So they're source. basically like but a battery. You can pack. get a solar charger for them or right. they come with them. That's why I was like, there's kind of a crossover there. Mm -hmm. It's a little confusing. Okay. Yep. Just look up portable generators on Amazon and you'll see there's solar ones and there's non solar ones. And anyways, it's basically a battery cell mm -hmm. that you can plug into. And the nice thing is they have um, an inverter in them, so yeah. you can plug in your regular device to that battery. So we've talked about how you can hook up car batteries. The problem is, is you know, your currents are different, so mm -hmm. you have to do an inverter. These already are self, like, but built in. Mm. They got a little display, tell you how much battery power and everything. And the nice thing is they've got, like, a, like 50 different ports. Yeah, you, they have a ton of ports. You can plug in on. a regular appliance. You can plug in your USB devices. They even have like cigarette lighters and some of them, a lot of them have a built-in light. So when you're mm -hmm. carrying it around, yeah. you can use the light. These are awesome. They're, that's the, this is kind of the next person I was telling my wife, I'm like, Father's Day's going on. Yeah, I know. You huh? remember when we couldn't run the fan at night for the kids? <laughs> this would be real nice. Yeah. So, um. Have you, have you looked at one specifically you're looking at at all? You know, I, so the goal zero ones mm -hmm. are kind of like the Lamborghini. They're kind of the They're standard. really yeah. nice and. But the, you're looking at like four hundred dollars <clears> for <throat> mm -hmm. enough wattage to you know use most yeah. of your appliances and charge things. Um, but to get the solar kit with it, you're like seven hundred dollars. Yeah, sure. Like, Holy crap! I'm looking right now at the uh, God. I can't even remember the brand. But there's there's a lot on there on Amazon, and, and the one I'm looking at is oh, I can't think of the name. It. It actually has that surge up to 600 watts, which I didn't even see. Goal oh, Zero interesting. under like $1,000 had this. And I was mm -hmm. like, man, that's that's nice. So if you're kicking on like a mini refrigerator, you need yeah. that surge. And so I've been looking at that. It has all the ports and everything I need. And you could run like a house fan off from it for hmm. like six to eight hours. And yeah. I'm like, that'd be perfect. Yep. Um, and then, you know, the other use is camping. You know, It's like yeah. you have it ready for any survival thing and then it's super convenient for everyday use yeah i like so it. anyway and then on moving on to the solar aspect of that you can get those so i mean they have like the solar specific generators you yeah know. that's that's what I that's kind of where day i would like, love to do that but oh those my, are pricey they are extremely pricey yeah so you can charge these port portable devices with a solar panel that you can get some sometimes the actual company makes it mm -hmm. as well so you'll know it'd be compatible but um, there's a lot of solar kits from BioLite. They have like a huge selection of different mm -hmm. ways to, you know, for lighting, for radio, for, you know, even like cooking, there's different ways to do that. Not specifically yep. solar, but Kobe will go into that. But BioLite is awesome to look into. Kobe has the solar home. I think we showed it. Yeah. The solar home 620. Yeah. Yep. And mm -hmm. I just bought it. I, I finished, well, almost finished a low shed and I'm going to put that in there. Because it has um, has the battery pack that has two USB ports. Um, it's a light itself. It has a radio in it, mm -hmm. and then it plugs into. I think it even takes like an SD card if you wanted to play. Oh yeah, it does. It's an MP3 player. Yeah, MP3 player. And then it has um, three additional like hanging lights, and you can. Yeah. they have switches on them. They all switch. So freaking cool. It's amazing. And because I hate the you know. USB plug yep. in immediately. It's on. Exactly. You don't really want yeah. That. Well, and then your your panel just runs up to the roof. You just install it up there, and it's always there. It's rainproof. It's yeah. weatherproof. So it's like constantly charging. Yeah. So you'd never have to worry about it. You just have lights yeah. out there. So that's what I'm going to do to power my shed. So hopefully we can get a video out of that and show you guys. Yeah. Kind of what we're talking about, but that goes along with that portable generator. Yeah. But this just makes it really simple and affordable. It's only like I bought it on Memorial Day sale for 125. Oh, that's not bad. It's like 150. Yeah. Anyway. So there, there's a really good, I mean, solar 
across the board, there's so many different options for, yeah. for charging and, and powering. And, you we, know. we talk about solar a lot. I just think it's really important for preppers to have solar gear, lights, yeah, um, you know, batteries, all those Unless chargers. Unless you're covered in volcanic ash. Yeah, I it's, it's going to be really useful. And then um, we've talked to you about like the water lily. So mm -hmm. these are kind of cool if you live near a stream or a windy area, which everybody lives in the wind most yeah, of the time. Yeah, it seems like it. You can use these little devices to, you know, it's either a water turbine or a wind turbine, mm -hmm. and it'll just charge up the battery cell, and then you can use that for, like, the water lily has a little light that goes on it. Um, actually, no, it doesn't. It looks like a, it looks like a fan. Um, yeah. I can't remember the other one. There's a couple of them. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. You throw it in the stream, just tie it down, and yeah. it just sits there and charges. And then when you know at nighttime, you pull it out, and some of them have like a battery or a light that just twists yeah. on. So you have your light, and then you can charge your devices off. And then I nice think about these is like you said, they're they're crossover. You can use them for camping, you can use them for hiking, yeah, it's like all those things. The but tech is not a waste because yeah, they're also great for prepping. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then um, the the wind ones are actually a little more simple, and and you can build your own. There's a ton of kits you can get. Yeah. That are like I'd love to. All one you day. need is that little turbine. Yep. And then power it to you know a, a battery, and then freak you can just throw it on your house, your shed, mm -hmm. car, whatever you want. I'd love to figure it out. I do. I would too because yeah. it's just a real easy way to utilize um, you know natural wind and stuff. Yeah, natural not, stuff, <laughs> not artificial wind. Uh huh. Well, you can even make that too. Um. So yeah, wind turbines, water turbines, any of those things are uh, pretty accessible and and affordable. That you could build on your own. Yeah. So go and do it. And then the this is one thing I found with those uh, battery cells for like your power drills and things like that. Mm -hmm. Like I, I use the Ryobi stuff. I really like because it it's affordable. It's not as expensive as DeWalt. But um, they have like so many different things you can use those battery packs in. They have oh, like yeah. a house fan. They have a oh, pump really? for your car tires. They have battery or uh, they have like a drop light. Oh wow! They have um, the uh, personal uh, massagers, <laughs> right? They, pretty <laughs> much. But the thing, I, like, you can use that battery for like all these different devices, mm -hmm. and those batteries are, you know, they're built to freaking be used and used and used. Yeah. So, you're, I, I guarantee you, somebody on this is listening they probably have one of those i guarantee it so you just find the 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 same little device that that battery will fit into mm -hmm. and you you know then you got your portable battery there you go I like it so that's pretty a pretty simple way to use um and ryobi like i said they have tons and tons of different appliances to use those batteries on yeah then if you want to just go to the batteries, the nice thing, you know, charging with your rechargeable batteries, the convenient mm -hmm. ones we just got from BattleBox, they yeah, just pop the, the top off and you plug I them think, into I think the USB port. Were those port. going gear? I yeah. Can't remember. I think they were going gear, but yeah, so basically they're AA batteries that are USB. Yeah. I've heard good and bad things about they them. They probably don't have a lot of no, charge the, the time. charge probably isn't awesome, but again, it's, it's uh, just easy. another thing that's it's easy. It's like and, if you're driving somewhere, yeah. you know, you, you can get like those four-port mm -hmm. car battery Yep. Or card uh, USB Chargers. things. You stick it in, stick all your well, batteries in we there. we got one with BattleBox. Remember, we got oh, that four-port right. four charger. So. so, yeah, you could just charge your batteries when mm -hmm. you're moving to a different location. Exactly. Um, and then, like, one of our all-time favorites for car jumping, too, mm -hmm. is the Gulu. So yep. you get, like, 30,000 milliamp battery. Yeah, and it's super around. cheap. It's really cheap. It's super cheap, Jumps man. cars. Yeah. Um, and you could use that, too, to start fires if you're smart. Mm -hmm. You know, you just Absolutely. connect it to steel wool, things like that. And then you got a light on it. Some of them have even more than that. Emergency lights for if you're, you know, trying mm -hmm. to, to get help. Anyway, there's a lot of options for power. Those are just some of the cooler technology yeah. that it doesn't hurt to have. Like, Absolutely. It's super useful in many ways. I think ways. why not? You know what I mean? You got you, you to gotta cover all the bases. Um, when I started thinking about like high tech survival, um, I, I always think about like cyber security and cyber survival and all those types of things because that's whoever you are, it doesn't matter. It's part of your life. Yeah. You know, being connected like, to the internet, computer. I always see it as like one of the top three things yeah. to happen. Yeah. It's going Easily. to happen. Yeah. I mean, you look at what terrorists it's are doing. Happening for terrorists around the world. That's, what, I mean, that's one of the number one. Uh, 
terrorist uh, yeah. things that, that, that they are doing is it's cyber. all interconnected. Exactly. So I just thought we'd talk about a few of those things, how to keep you a little bit safer in some of those high-tech devices and those – maybe it's not a device. Maybe it's software. Maybe it's some other thing that can help you – um, as a prepper, and, it's, and it doesn't even need to be as a prepper. Like I said, everybody should be doing this. You know what I mean? So, um, Cam, have you heard about RFID? I'm uh, sure you have, right? Yeah, because I read your notes. So, yeah, so basically RFID, it's an acronym. It's Radio Frequency Identification. So, it, it, you know, on your, your debit cards, that little chip that's on there now that you got to push in uh-huh. instead of the swipe, right? That's basically an RFID chip. Um, so by the end of 2015, almost all credit and all debit cards had them. Um, the big risk is that the information on these chips are easy to steal by anyone walking near you with a scanner. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so it's definitely possible. Where do you get the scanner? Uh, Amazon. <laughs> Probably. I, have no, I have no idea. Probably. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of people say don't worry about it. The threat's not that big, but it has happened, and there's a lot of people that have had issues where that you know their card's been you know, like, how the heck did they do this? And it was through RFID scanning. Um, so there's some really, really simple things you can do to help yourself stay away from that issue. Um, RFID wallets. Put your card in your shoe. Yeah. Well, no, that still wouldn't do it. Um, RFID wallets. Even really, really close, simple. Huh? Yeah. They, they, they just have to be within a foot or so, I think. So they, they ingest it. You, you could Probably ingest still it. Go through. <laughs> yeah. Um, RFID wallets. So basically these are, um, they're basically like mini little Faraday cages. Cool. Your, your wallet. So you just put it in there and nothing can be scanned. You know, you can't get any radio frequencies or anything through that. So it's like a little, it's like, you know, Silent Pocket and uh, Mission Faraday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, I found I found one on Amazon for eight bucks. Not like, they're, they're relatively inexpensive. Obviously, you can get different types, but, um, and that's not super high tech, but it is part of this high tech thing, you know, to, to help yourself not get uh, don't screwed. scan my butt yeah so they also make rfid safes um which are basically you know faraday cage safes so if you want to put a hard drive or something in there so those can't be compromised in any way for, for anything like that um and like i said silent pocket and mission darkness they make a uh, laptop phone um duffel bags they make uh lots of different things for that type of thing so um yeah, I mean, why not do it? If it's if yeah, you're gonna buy a wallet that. anyways, dirt cheap. Why not just get one that's a, you know an RFID or a purse or a purse? Yeah, either way, kind of either way, satchel. <laughs> it's satchel. Um, so there's some things that you know thinking about uh, being prepared. You, you know, in an SHTF situation, sometimes you're gonna have to have documents. Uh, depending on what's going on, you're gonna need birth certificates or, you know, yeah. deeds of some sort. You don't know what it is. So uh, why not use some, um, why not do it digitally? You know, it's another way to keep it safe. You can have the hard copy, which is uh, obviously you need to have that. But having it digitally is just another way, you know, you can put it in the cloud or you can put it in on a, a hard drive. You yeah. Know? I know you, you have several external hard drives you use, right? What kind do you like? Hard drives. I, I tend to use just the standard the seagate or western digital okay yeah western digital. i like seagate for, Do you? i've had less failure with those but yeah i, I western digital has been pretty good the ones that i've yeah, used i think too, both so. of those are great yeah so uh why not think about getting one of those backing up important documents things like passports birth certificates social security I think cards. a lot of people get scared about doing this you i know, know? They and do. honestly I had my wallet, and this was my own fault. Mm-hmm. I was at the fair, yeah, and played a game with the kids, and I left my wallet sitting there, uh, and almost immediately somebody took it. Oh, yeah. and had charged, you know, twenty five coins. Yeah, so they got to ride one ride. Yeah, no twenty five dollars. <laughs> yeah, um, but luckily, uh, I had on my phone pictures of all my cards in the backs of my cards. Mm-hmm. So I called them all, and I and I blocked them all like exactly. immediately, and w- within like. 10 minutes. I couldn't even believe it was used. I only lost 15 bucks, but I blocked everything because I mm-hmm. had it. I had exactly. a backup. So it came in extremely uh, useful there. And, and they have those apps too, you know. Yeah, they have tons but of apps like that. Who knows that, how safe they are. That could keep them safe. But for the yeah. most part, I, I trust. The, yeah. I mean, but it's, it, the thing, it's the thing we always talk about. Like that doesn't seem as sexy as, you know, getting ready for the zombie apocalypse, but it's something that's probably going to happen. The most to you likely, point, yeah. You know what I mean? So those are the things as a prepper you need to be thinking about. Um, why not just have those things backed up? Like I said, they can either be in the cloud, and I understand some people don't. The cloud's shady. Yeah, it's shady. I understand that. And so it, and yeah, you always get that email like, there's been a breach in our company. Yeah, you exactly. You need to change your password. You're like, son of a... We're going to talk about that too, but um, yeah, so if, you, if you're worried about something being in the cloud, which is obviously super convenient when you need it, 
If, when you need it something, is. it is so easy. It's in the Unless cloud. you're trying to sync a document that oh, you need yeah. to use right away. That ain't never going to happen. Um, <laughs> or figure out if your music's downloaded or not downloaded. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, having something on a hard drive, you know, m- maybe in one of these Faraday cages or yeah. something like that. I have one in a fireproof, like yeah, my exactly. backup, but um, I didn't know they had mm-hmm. ones that are like Yeah, RFID. I mean, they make full, full-blown cool. gun safes that are uh, like Faraday cages that are EMP proof. Oh, nice. So um, those are always things you know, I was you just get. thinking about, and this is a random side, mm-hmm. you know, they get those fancy safes that yeah. are like fingerprint scanner and eye scanner. I'm like, what happens if there's an EMP? Yeah, I don't you, know. You're not going to be able to get into those. I don't. I think some like, of those. i go with the manual. Yeah, some of those have like backup they probably ways should. to get in. And I'm, I'm or just not a button on the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that's, what's that's the purpose of all that? You just got to knock it three times on the one side. It should come out. Run your um, shoe underneath it. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, like I said, passports, birth certificates, social security cards, deeds, titles and wills, driver's licenses, insurance papers, bank statements, all those things are going to be really useful depending on what's going on. Unless you're trying to get rid of your debt. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, then I don't know. I've seen any of that stuff. <laughs> Somebody stole my bank debt. I didn't have any debt. <laughs> I'm a bank statements. Oh. Yeah. Um, another thing you can think about um, with cybersecurity is multi-factor authentication. Um, and I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's obviously really, really annoying. Simple. Is It is annoying, <laughs> but it is super effective. Yeah. Right? It's really, really effective. So basically, it's authentic. Put your thumbprint on here. Yeah. I scan. Piss it's, on the screen. It's done. <laughs> double it's double login so basically like i do this at work i have to you know if i log in somewhere that's not normal i can log in there with my password but i also have to have something that comes up on my phone so it's multi-factor authentication yeah. right yeah. there's a whole bunch of apps that'll allow you to do this google has one google authenticator um yeah, that's one I use. the one i've used actually is LastPass authenticator is really good they've been around forever yeah microsoft authenticator and there's one called authy um i haven't used that but anyways you know what I hmm. think that's the one I have. What's that? Authy. Yeah. Authy? Oh, nice. Authy. Yeah. Interesting. So you you have used it. Yeah, we have like a pin, like if you want to send in a refill. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. You get a number, and then you have to authorize it through that. So it worked really well. Yeah, so, so you can set these up for any sort of logins that you have um, to keep things safe. It, it, it actually, it, it's one additional step, but mm-hmm. you don't have to remember all your weird passwords. No, you like don't. you get a code, a key yeah. right then to pipe in. Because if somebody did get your password somehow, you know what I mean? They couldn't get in because it would go right. to your phone. Yeah. Unless they've somehow, you know, cloned your phone. Yeah. I, yeah. But it, The bad thing is like you get rid of your phone and you haven't, and then yeah. you're like, how do I get that authenticator? Yeah. And most of the time it'll say, um, do not have the device available mm-hmm. to get, but anyway, yeah, that, I think those are, those are awesome and they make a lot more sense. Yep. Uh, another thing is VPN. Uh, Cam's talked about this several times. Um, yeah. so basically it's a private network uh, that you can use anywhere. Yeah. Right? I've been wanting to set one up just to see how it works, just mm-hmm. to see how slow my network is while yeah. using one. Cause I guess you know, like Nord's probably the most uh, known, mm-hmm. one of the most well-known ones yeah. and, and it, and it like, uh, you know, boasts about having small impact on your because yeah. you're going through a different you know you're kind of mm-hmm. going through several things so it does slow down your your latency increases and all that it does stuff, it so. okay yeah i kind of figured that it would i mean i've used vpns but these, i guess this one's been really good i've used vpns like at work and things like that before but actually using would, it yeah. for myself i haven't used it a lot so yeah uh, I, don't I wanted to set one up at home like i'm always scared about my cameras getting hacked in yeah so basically i'm just sitting mean, naked what is, on the couch what is the uh what is the the use of them like it's basically for security right you're just yeah. safer when you're using anything in a public area or yeah. even at your house right so it's anyways. like pulling a blanket over you mm-hmm. when you go out on the web nobody will even know nobody will can't know. find out and so there's some other things you can do when you're on the web too that actually make it even more safe and some of those are using anonymous browsers yeah. right uh like tor and these are usually free and easy yeah yeah you don't have to get your service exactly um tor though don't you have to like have it like on I, I I thought it was a little bit harder to use the Tor, isn't it? Or have you used it before? Um, no, I've never used okay. it before. I think you have to have an actual browser. Yeah, like you were saying. Um, like, but I, I think you can use. Didn't you mention the one? So you, you don't can, need like, to install any software on yeah, your machine. Yeah, the search engines. The browser is portable app that you that lives on a USB stick. That's how a lot of people use. Yeah, it. Yeah, that's apparently. the safest way. That's to do the it. safest way to use it. So basically, the Tor browser, or the Tor network, which is, and then you use the Tor browser, is so secure that U.S. Navy uses it for intelligence gathering, that's which crazy. is crazy. But you can actually use it. Law enforcement also uses it. Um, so uh, basically, it means you can use the service. Oh, how they do that to not show that they're government IP. I know. Or, it's like, it's like, I don't know if I want that. I don't want them using that. <laughs> 
So there's I'm other ones too. Here. I don't want to um, email them. Using. Epic Browser is another one you can use. SRWare, Iron, Komodo Dragon Browser. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different ones that you could use there. But so these you just don't you just go to the site. I think Duck, those Duck, ones go you and then you start searching well, whatever you want see, from there. But DuckDuckGo is actually the search engine. Yeah, these ones so, are browsers. Right. Mm-hmm. This one's like yeah. You, instead of going to Google to search, yeah, if you, you want to be Duck, a little Duck, bit go. more yeah. Private. So you could use, uh, yeah, you could just use, you know, Chrome and then go to DuckDuckGo. Yeah, go, yeah. Uh, and then you still have a safer search that's not going to. So, yeah, basically the search engine DuckDuckGo is like, it's not going to collect any data from your search. or yeah. It's not going to send it anywhere or store it in any place. It basically, it just does your search and that's it. So it's just. So you don't get the ads popping up exactly. for those boots you looked at yeah. six months ago. Exactly. So those are some things you can do on the internet there. Another one is identity theft protection. Um, Cam has some good experience with this as well. But basically, I looked up some statistics. 8,000 identity records are compromised every minute. Oh, my God. So that's 8,000 people each minute. Yeah, I got kind of freaked out. I got my backpack stolen, and I mm-hmm. had two USB sticks. And I'm like, I'm not sure what was on those. Oh, yeah. And I was, like, terrified about it. So I signed up for Identity Force had, mm-hmm. like, the best reviews at the time. And I really liked it, you know. Sends yeah. me warnings about pedophiles moving in next door. Yeah. I get emails about, like, I went, and it was crazy because I went and bought, um, oh, where did I go? Oh, I set up a credit card at Lowe's. Mm-hmm. And as soon as, like, she did the application, I got texted on my phone. That's and it insane. said, your, yeah. your uh, information has been used to set up credit. And I was like, I mean, it was within seconds. That's crazy. So I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So basically, these kind of services will monitor anything that's going on with your credit or with your yeah, name. Yeah, you can do accounts. You can do mm-hmm. – um, I was surprised at all the different things that you can um, actually have it monitor. Oh, outside really? of, you Have it monitor, monitor your driver's license number. Mm-hmm. So if it's ever used yeah. out, out there for anything, it'll pop up. Um, anyway, There's I was surprised it wasn't just your bank, you know, and, and your credit cards it actually had. Yeah. So those, there's a whole bunch. There's like LifeLock, Identity Force. There's a whole bunch of different ones you can use. Um, but it's just a good idea to think about one of those. Um, a good place to start with with this identity theft protection, because like you talked about earlier, Cam, about those uh, email hacks, like people getting information. No, social media. Oh, social you media. You can even too. have it if people uh, sign in that's interesting. to your social media. There's credit, there's financial, identity. And it has all kinds of different. You can even get a free credit score. That's awesome. So uh, the, here's a good place to start with your email address because your email address is obviously one of the first things that usually gets hacked or gets sold or whatever. If you go to um, haveibeenpuned.com, you know, P-W-N-E-D.com, you put your email in and it shows in all of the breaches that have ever happened if your email was part of it. That's it's cool. actually crazy because mine had like 14. I know. I, I was too scared to look. <laughs> and, and, but it was my the email that I used for all the junk yeah. stuff. Um, but like literally there was like 14 of them that had been um, breached in. I'm gonna do it right it now. will scare the hell out of you when you look at that. So yeah, have I been P-W-N-E-D dot com. And if you put your email in there it will, and then scroll down, it will show you every breach. sites. Yep. And found no paste subscribe to search sensitive breaches. Huh. Yeah, it's insane, huh? And then it'll show you exactly which one of those it was. Like, I think mine was in. Um, I, I can't even remember. There's a whole bunch of them. It's an uh, email I've had forever. It's so like one of them was MySpace or something. Oh, <laughs> you know yeah. What I mean? yeah. Oh, it does. It has them all like, listed down here. Yeah, it shows you which breaches they were. So it's kind of interesting to go do that, and you can see how secure your, your email is, and it, it probably isn't unless it's a brand-new email. <laughs> So, anyways, scary. yeah. And another thing you can do: um, use a password keeper and generator. Um, that will absolutely help. Do not use a really simple password because it will get hacked. Yeah, it literally, it's going to get hacked. So you need to have really good passwords. Um, like I said, I've used LastPass and it's been really good. That is a good. It'll one. actually generate passwords for you. It'll save passwords for it's you. It's really good for your elderly parents. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Mine. Yeah. Yeah constantly so anyways that's like um you know cybersecurity. some some stuff you can do there cameron that's, that's all i've got perfect yeah what, what episode did we talk about was it just the cyber we had a cyber security cyber episode yeah so anyway good stuff so the uh oh, i'm sorry i was looking at my <laughs> see how how much my what your email has been like. used which was kind of depressing it is depressing isn't it yeah so we are at yeah uh, electronic electronics. device yeah so um, you know carrying a phone which is what everybody does these things can be like extremely useful for um, 
accessing information. You know, we use mm -hmm. YouTube all the time. We use, you know, whatever, Google. Um, but you can store all this digital content, you know, books that range from, you know, medical, um, edible plants, survival, yeah. all of that. And you can get it in like super small forms. Even you don't even need a reader. You can do a PDF, you know, that yeah. I guess you need a PDF reader, but it's like really simple ways to have like this massive library that's portable. Mm -hmm. You know, you're sitting in a corner eating your uh, dried potato flakes mm -hmm. and you, can, oh, so you got something to do. Yeah. You can read. Um, and then for entertainment too, you know, so the other things with the digital devices, you know, granted the EMP, all that stuff, you know, uh, yeah, they yeah. could fry them. But like, like we should have probably done something at the beginning of this episode. We understand if there's an EMP or if it's like a super grid down yeah. situation, some of this, yeah. most of it, no good. But it's like shaping your whole plan around this one event that could happen. It's not and, a good idea. You know, it's yeah. like you're not gonna you're not gonna have all these conveniences. It's like oh, I'm not gonna use a lighter. What if my lighter breaks? Right. And just be smart about it. It's like if this gets toast, you know, you gotta have your backup. Exactly. Have your paper. That you know, the lighter like, thing drives me insane. I know. Like I'm not gonna use a lighter. What if it breaks? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Use it a thousand times and what then if, it breaks. What if my car breaks? Yeah. Should I not use a car? I know. Like it's so stupid. <laughs> I know it is. They do. Oh, you guys aren't men. <laughs> you're a man. You're not walking everywhere. <laughs> Did you dig up that pharaoh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, anyway, yeah, massive storage library for for continuing to learn skills. You know, mm -hmm. th there's just no way you can learn all that content. Um, navigation, obviously, we use it a lot for GPS and uh, driving things like that. But there's apps for like star guides. You know, mm -hmm. how to navigate by the stars. How to uh, what stars aren't there? <laughs> Why don't you look up and not down at your phone, dummy? <laughs> it's so dumb. Um, but yeah, there, there's tons of apps that that teach you navigation and you know even how to like communicate, even like all the directions and how to use a ham radio. Yeah, you, you need yeah. a license, all that stuff. We talked about that, mm -hmm. but you know, in a <laughs> use HTF, it. yeah. If you didn't get your license, I'm gonna die you, if I don't contact somebody, but I don't have my license. I know. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh well. So. I'll let them bleed out. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, you can you can have all these ways to navigate, you know, and Compass is even built into these phones and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Not the most reliable, maybe, but still, it's there, and you pretty much always have it on you. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like I would mentioned, the PDF instructions for, like, medical guides, suturing, medical dosages, you know, um, what medical meaning, you know, like, if you're scrounging, you're like, oh, I'll take this medicine. Is it worthwhile? Yeah. Um, you got your flashlight in mm -hmm. the device as well. Heck yeah. Um, people know how to stick wires in there and start fires and <laughs> stuff like that. And I don't know. I'm not that crazy. You got a battery in there. You know? Yeah, you do. You can do things with that. You do. Um, so you can use them as like, so when it comes to network, um, and, and most people probably know you don't need the internet to have a network in your home. Right. Yeah. You know, once the, once the internet goes down, you know, all your devices are still connected to each other. Mm hmm so using and and you can also find on Amazon like little tiny routers that are also uh, re like a that'll charge your device. You know they're a little portable oh, battery. I have one. It's and it's a router. Yeah, it's got a. Weird. I used it when we. Uh, I shouldn't say this when we <laughs> flew to Hawaii. You know you're probably not supposed to run wireless oh, device. Probably not. I had it running so my kids could watch videos off from that. You know, so they both is connected to it, and one of them was charging. And then they both are connecting to an SD card that was in it. No way. So it's a network. Yeah, wow. a little tiny network. Um, That's kind of cool. So I, I actually use that a lot. And when we go to my dad's cabin, I'll leave it like in the car. And it, we have two small little, like a little tiny cabin. You, you mm -hmm. know how that's set up. Yeah. We, we'll put the baby to, to nap in there. Mm -hmm. And I'll set up one iPad, connect it to that router. And then my other iPad and just uses a video feed. So yeah. I can watch him while he's out there and listen. It's like a baby so, monitor. You can do that. It's a great security backup with these devices. And, it, you know, I have, like, a cracked screen Samsung, mm -hmm. you know, tablet. I have, like, an Asus. Uh, I have, like, 20 devices sitting around. It's like store crap on them, stick them in a, you know, a yeah. Mylar bag, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be good. Plus, it's entertainment for your kids. Um, you That's can watch, crucial. You can watch Division Two video stream. <laughs> you can. All night long. Your all kids night. are busy. Yeah. Um <laughs> <laughs> and then uh you know you get weather alerts on your phone mm -hmm. there's you're going to get signals in and out the network may not go down immediately you still want that ability to reach out to people anywhere um and so 
it's just useful all the way around. You know, yes, they're susceptible and they're high tech and easily can break and the battery can run out, but they they have so much that they can do. You know, yeah, it's just dumb to consider them as you know a, a waste a waste of space in a SHTF. Mm-hmm. We're not going to go back to the Stone Age immediately. No. Um, and then, like I said before, you got GPS in there. People can locate you based on your phone's location. Exactly, and stuff yeah. Like that. So anyway, um, store all your information on there too. You know, Apple and, and Android, they have those, those. You can't sign into it, but you can quickly look at somebody's medical information. Yeah. You know, what blood type they are. They're passed out right here. Where the Percocet bottle is. Yes, where'd you keep it? <laughs> Let's look at that. <laughs> he takes Percocet regularly. Where are they kept? Okay. Um, but yeah, and those, I mean... They're very secure. Apple wouldn't even unlock one from a yeah. freaking fugitive or a, you know. Yeah. Well, they, just, well, they say they actually can't is yeah. what they said. So it's like if Apple can't do that, FBI can't break into it, which, mm-hmm. you know, they could over time. But that's pretty secure. Wait, how long so. did it take them to break into the iPhone? It took was them, it like six months or yeah, three Yeah, it took months? them a long time. So, yeah. And you're not going to have access to those type of people. No, absolutely not. So your your information for the most part is um, pretty safe. Pretty dang safe. Yeah, it? I like it. So I want to talk about security, especially home security, because I think that that is, you know, it's pretty high tech. Some people get a little bit scared of it, but it's why not have home security if you can, That's even if it's high tech. Yeah, Some seriously. people go, well, you got to have low tech, you know, you got to have guns and you got to have guns. Locks. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yes, you have to have all of those things. I completely agree. But why not add an extra layer of security, especially if you can do it relatively inexpensively right. and, and effectively, right? Yeah. So, um, so in good times and in an SHDF situation, you're going to want your home base secure or whatever. It might, maybe it's a bug out location, but most likely you're going to be bugging in, right? Um and yes, I do understand that in an SHTF situation, it might not work. Your home security system might not. It, you're not going to have monitoring. Like, you know, exactly. it's not going to call 911. But you still have that in-house system that the alarm goes off when one of those, you know, entrances is breached, yeah, right? Yeah. So why, how is that Well, not, who's going to know? Yeah. You know, if, if there's some lights on, they're like, maybe they have a generator. Yeah. Their system's still working. Exactly. And it's yeah. going to sound off. If I yeah, can, exactly. Like I said, every SHTF your situation. Your back door is open. <laughs> Every SHDF situation isn't going to be a grid down. No, you no. know what I mean. So yeah. um, I think that I think a lot of people do think that it's like yeah, power's gone. You know, prehistoric age. Yep, it's not. That's not true. Contaminated. So Can't drive vehicles. The benefits of a home security system now and later is going to be it's going to deter criminals when they see that you have a home security system. I guarantee you, most run of the mill, average, dumbass redneck, uh, you know freaking guy's trying to break in your house he's gonna see that you have a home security system he's gonna go wait is it a good idea or should i go to the next house that doesn't have one yeah right yeah i mean it's obvious so it's going to deter a lot of criminals um you're gonna have peace of mind i know i got one recently and i tell you what like when yeah, i'm that's home, simply safe huh yeah I, I love it like i just know and i can like i can look in I've, on what's I've going on kind of see how it works yeah I want um but it is a, better a huge one. peace of mind for me especially when i'm at work or if i'm out of town i know that at least you know if somebody tries to break in the alarm's going off everything's gonna That's be awesome. okay you know what i mean um like i said you know what's happening at your home base when you're not home especially if you have the the cameras you mm-hmm. can look in at your house at any time and if you're in an shtf does situation your, does yours come with a couple or one or mine did come with one yeah you have, where, where do you have it uh, <laughs> in the is it in your bedroom? Can it's you the, give me access to it? It's your... in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> no, I, I've actually moved it several times. Oh, have um, you? yeah, I've actually, it's pretty it. funny. We've, you know, all the, all the rain, all the rain. We've I'm going to turn it on right now. It's going to be looking at the packaging. No, I'll show you. Oh, I'll it's show in the box. I'll show you right now what it looks like. So we've been having all this rain here, right? Um, and so oh, that's right. I've you had, had it set up on your uh, window had, well, huh? I've had a window well that keeps <laughs> flooding. Is that what camera you're using? Yeah. And so, um, Right now, I actually have it set up on that window so I can see if it floods. <laughs> <laughs> Still there. Yeah, because um, we've. Yeah, anyways, it's been a huge deal. You had a pool and the. Yeah, but anyways, um, obviously a better security. Um, I, you get a homeowner's insurance discount when you have oh, yeah. a home security system. So that's very very nice. Like Cam said, I have Simply Safe. I'm not saying you should get Simply Safe. There's a thousand. Yeah, there are. There's tons. There's a thousand of them out there, but mine was actually relatively inexpensive, like under 300 bucks. I basically covered most of my house. I got a camera. Um, and the nice thing about Simply Safe is you don't have a contract of any sort. You know, I can go. Yeah, that's nice. I can go month to month with my monitoring, and it's half the price as most of the other ones. It's like 15 bucks a yeah. month for monitoring. And a lot of them. I mean, I I just have a bunch of cameras. Like mm-hmm. I, I I need more of like a 
you know, an alarm yeah. and stuff like that. But, you know, every I, I have feed on all those things that mm-hmm. I can look and see live for free, but mm-hmm. to monitor, you know, to, to like yep. r- scroll back, you know, that's where you, you have to sure, yeah. subscribe to. Well, but and still. it's just also having the door alarms, the window yeah. alarms. And I things. get a text if somebody's, mm-hmm. you know, if there's motion in front of certain cameras and yep. stuff like that. So it, you can do it relatively cheap. Yeah. And then, like I said, those cameras, um, even when power's down, if you're running off a generator, you could plug in a, t- a tiny little yeah. um, wireless device and then you plug in your phone or your iPad or, you know, you, you join the same network mm-hmm. and you can still look at those cameras. Yeah, it's like if you're you don't at even home, have to have the internet. SHGF is happening. You could put some cameras on all angles of yeah, your house. You could be all sleeping in one room in a closed and network. Watch it all exactly. Like, so like that is a huge deal. I yeah, think. I think um, so too. And those cameras are pretty dang cheap. Some yeah, of them. Yeah. absolutely. I completely agree. And so there's a lot of cheese from you can do Vivint, ADT, Ring. Uh, you know, has a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, but you know. 250 bucks you could probably have something you know um other ones Easy. you don't have upfront costs but you're like 30 bucks a month so lots of different options like cam said you can hobble something together yourself if you have you know yeah you can and mm-hmm. and you can do it pretty effectively too uh, and really really uh useful in any situation um so Let's talk about drones. I love drones. Drones are fun. <laughs> if you don't know what a drone is, you have literally been living under a rock for the past <laughs> like 10 years. Um, but, you know, we've all seen the drones, everybody out there flying around like crazy people. Um, have you heard of drone wars? Yeah, I, I've heard of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, DJI is probably the most popular maker of these drones. There's a ton of them out there. You can get like, we have one at work that's like a $6,000 drone, but you can seriously get them like 400 bucks from DJI. Is that you know the DJI Spark? Yeah. Um. I, I I guess I keep saying DJI because you know that's kind of the the industry standard. Like, it does. Yeah. You can get Seems the super way. cheapies from Walmart or wherever it might be or Amazon. I don't know how good they are. I yeah. have No idea. Try flying them. Yeah. Try you flying find them. Out. <laughs> yeah. And get your 360p video. Because when you fly like a good one, when I when I first flew the GoPro, I was like, uh-huh. are they that simple to fly? Yeah, like the, it's the Karma. The Karma super simple to fly. Yeah. And so. And, but I'd, I'd had one before that that was like a Christmas gift for like 60 bucks, you know. Um, yeah. And it was like. <laughs> <laughs> You're so damn scared like, to fly. Yeah, I'm getting under control. Yeah. Um, so why why would we even consider having a drone, Cameron? Spy. I mean, yeah, well, it could be. Winders. So here's a few reasons you could think about having a drone as a prepper, as a survivalist. Recon. Duh. Right, I mean that's what they're for, man. You throw that thing in the air and you're bugging out, or you're you're scavenging. You know, you maybe you're in a bugging situation. You have to go scavenge. Throw that sucker out ahead of you. you I mean, you can go a mile ahead of you. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. See what it, what the lay of the land looks like. Come back, and then you you know what you're going into. Right? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, a recon situation. I'm not saying it's easy and it's always going to work, but that is how you could use it. Yeah. No, I was thinking of like like a scenario where you, you don't want to go outside. You know, mm-hmm. virus or yeah. fall out. And it's like, you got radio contact. You're like, I need a can of soup. You know, yeah. I don't know if you lift a can of soup, but you know, you could, you can, you could transport little things you can. to and from. Like I thought about trying to send like, <laughs> you want a DVD <laughs> to take it? over yeah. to your house and see if, do you it, think we can reach would, with the karma? To I don't my know. House? The karma would be, you might be able I to. I think if I have a, a, a better clear sight, yeah. the DJI uses two different yeah. radio frequencies, which is nice Wi Fi and mm-hmm. an antenna. It goes a lot further. Yep. But I've like, I'm like, i like, we should test it one time. We should. That would be cool. If I can drop off some pack of gum or something. Yeah, we should. No, but yeah, you could actually transport stuff. Here's some condoms. Why not? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use those for. Um, so, and then, okay, recon is one. Security is another one. Um, perimeter security, I mean, it'd be fantastic yeah. for that, right? Um, so instead of like a fixed camera in an area out on your property, you can get above everything and you can move. You know, um, if somebody knows where a camera's at, they can easily avoid it. But if the camera's moving all over the place, it's above them, yeah, you can't avoid it, yeah. right? Um, it's remote. You can fly from a safe position at all times. Uh, that's a huge advantage to that. Stealth, once you get really high, you really can't hear yeah. it and you can't see it. Sometimes you can. So it depends on which drone you're using. Some of them are. Is DJI is pretty quiet? Because the karma is not quiet. No, the spark isn't super quiet it's pretty, because it's so. It's like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but some of the bigger ones are actually a little bit quieter. Um, but it's nice. I mean, it's like you get a limited battery. All you have to do is send it up for mm-hmm. like five minutes. Yep. Do a, like a circle a scan. And if you see something, you could go over there and then yeah. come back. Well, even what I have down here is you could have alerts on your perimeter. Right, so you could have trip wires or some something like that oh, that's yeah. on the very outside, what, what and then it? once you've heard that alert, 
I don't want to run out there in no the dark, kidding. or I don't want to run out there straight out. So just throw up the drone, go see what you're, yeah, you're I like that. dealing with. That's cool. You know what I mean? That's to me would or be. Or you could even communicate to somebody. It's like, yeah. you know, they're on your left. Exactly. Stay over this way. Yep, exactly. So, um, and then also, you know, most of them have cameras on them that you can record to, so you would have evidence of whatever breach or whatever yeah. you're seeing down there, right? Um, so I think security is a big one. Um, damage inspections, you know, after storms or after a bad SHDF thing, you can actually get up on, you know, high. You can see how, how what is my neighborhood looking like? What does my roof look like? What does my house, you know, my property? Is it, you know, after a tornado, whatever it might yeah, be. Yeah, exactly. It, a lot of people after house, house fires mm-hmm. will like. Yep, they will. Circle around, take pictures. Yep. Uh, hunting. You know, right now, don't use one for hunting. Okay? Just don't do it. It's it's illegal. But in an SHTF situation, illegal doesn't matter. No, right. So throw that sucker up. Go chase them in your direction or the direction of your buddy. Go figure out where they're at, you know, whatever animal is. Why not? I mean, it'd be True. huge, you know? Yeah. You're doing whatever to survive. Yeah. Um, so there are some drawbacks. Obviously, we've talked about these short flight times. You know, most of them, I mean, I think the longest you can get is 30 minutes. Did you just crap your pants? I just farted. <laughs> get out of here, man. Um, no, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, I don't not believe you. Um, so short flight times. I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> you would just take a uh, The longest you can get is like 30 minutes, but most of them it's like 20-ish minutes, right? Um, you can't use them in super bad weather. If it's yeah. you know, windy, if it's raining, you can't really use it. And you have to have a power source to charge those batteries. But you know what? I think it's something to think about. Yeah, especially I, have, if you have big property and uh, yeah, exactly, I have big property. <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> I don't know if you have like John numerous, John numerous, big property. Um, all right, so let's move on. There's there's something I found, and this is kind of a random thing. Oh, wireless trail cams. I don't know if you've ever seen these, but uh, yeah, we just got you know, one. Well, yeah, but it's not wireless. Oh, that's they true. They have wireless ones. Yeah, I was just actually looking at those. Today. These are sweet. So basically, they will send you when a picture is taken, they'll send it via data. Yeah, I had to no your idea phone. they had those, and they're not that expensive. So there's some that are like the cell phone network as mm-hmm. well yep. but then they also have like almost like walkie talkie ones right i think it's so like I don't, almost up to a mile uh could be i'm gonna walk could be <laughs> i'm gonna walk but I it's do 15 know. miles up there i'm gonna go 14 <laughs> i ain't going 15. yeah exactly but i knew know i do know that you can get them for about 150 bucks and they'll run off like the verizon or the at&t really? network yeah, so as long as you I have thought. data it'll send right to your phone auto updates so if you have a bug out location or if you have you know whatever it might be you could set it up you know at the road coming up or oh, you could perfect. set it up on the location when you're trying to come up and then you know as long as you have data like I Trail said, cabs are perfect. Oh yeah, why not, man? They're so simple. Yeah, so that that's pretty dang cool. Uh, another quick thing but I found about the transmission ones that's cool, which is kind of random um, for a personal defense. I found this stun gun case for iPhones. <laughs> that's freaking cool. Yeah, Does it fun. use the iPhone's battery? No, it has its own battery. It has its own. Battery. It has its own battery. Can you jump off that battery you can, and charge it, your phone? You can. Oh, see, that's yeah. Cool. So it's pretty cool. So it's called Yellow Jacket iPhone Stun Gun Case. 150 bucks. It has like on the on the end of it on the bottom. There's a little place for the uh, I don't know <laughs> what it awesome. is. So you can z- z- get some. Wonder people get shocked on accident. I don't know, man. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> mom. What you? <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was kind of cool. It's something you could think about uh, for yeah, personal that's defense. Cool. Yeah. Hey, Cameron. Yes. Did you know the most subscription boxes are full of samples and junk you'll Actually, never use? Really, really do. You did knew that. You did knew that. <laughs> Totally, but not Battle Box. It's the monthly subscription box for men, full of solid gear for adventure seekers, survivalists, outdoor enthusiasts, and casual preppers. Each month, Battle Box sends you the coolest selection of hand-picked outdoor survival and everyday carry gear, all valued at four, far more than you'd normally pay. You never know what's in the next box, and here's a sampling of what users received this last month. Cameron, they got an extremely powerful Nebo 2 160-lumen flashlight with a laser that can almost reach the damn moon. A <laughs> Nearly magical knife and metal polish from Flitz that will clean nearly anything, even glass, and water for pu- purification packs from P&G. They allow you to drink from rivers, creeks, ponds, pretty much anything you want. You can drink anywhere. Toilet, doesn't matter. Is that the one that like solidifies all the garbage? Yeah, it's disgusting. It's crazy. It's disgusting. It's poopy. But it works. All this badassness starts at about 30 bucks a month. They've shipped almost a million boxes, and they've won Best Men's Subscription Box of 2017. Such a good year. And they won. Our listeners get a free tactical knife when you sign up at trybattlebox.com slash casual preppers. Trybattlebox.com slash casual preppers. Get your first battle box plus a free tactical knife at trybattlebox.com slash casual preppers. 
It's worth it. <sighs> totally worth it. It is totally worth totally it. Totally worth it. They have got some sweet boxes now. Absolutely. You're missing out. Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk a little bit about communications. That was like what four or five episodes back. Mm-hmm. Anyways, and 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 you know we we, t- we touched some much. nerves a little bit. We are. <laughs> you got to be careful. So I don't understand communications very well, mm. and I don't communicate very well. <laughs> and this is why you have a podcast. This is exactly why <laughs> I have a podcast. Um, but there's a lot of different devices out there, as we we've already talked about, that can make um, communications extend way further than just locally. You know. And you don't have to rely on your cell phone for all forms of communication. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so satellite phones, obviously, they're expensive. But to take out all the satellites, pretty unlikely. You'll still have um, the ability to communicate plus with uh, governments and things like that if you really need to. Yeah. So satellite phones are um, are a huge uh, t- type of communication if you're rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're definitely expensive, they're and the cheap. service is expensive as well, but they're like one of the ultimates. Mm-hmm. Um, we've talked, to about ham radios. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be very brief on this because there's a lot of possibility with these. You have to have your license, mm-hmm. um, but they're pretty much limitless. You know, you, you have your range extenders, things like that. Mm-hmm. You can talk with whoever you want, mm-hmm. and um, excellent way to keep in service but the reason i added this in here is because like they have um so ham radio for the most part is limited to to just your you know audio and things like that but they have a way that some really big nerdy dudes <laughs> can like code and transmit pictures into you know and, and it codes in changes them to text <laughs> then when it is received it can be uncoded into is this a like picture. charlie in the chocolate factory Pretty or much, where yeah. you sent the kid across yeah the yeah in a million okay. pieces okay so they're doing this for years with ham radio yeah but you can get have you seen those ham radios that hook into your computer and then you mm-hmm. can use the different subscription service some yeah. of them are free and through there you can you know record messages and and set timers for sending messages and it just opens up a whole new world for amateur radio Mm -hmm. and so um that's a useful thing to understand and and use and you can send um texts and pictures and stuff um via amateur radio which Mm -hmm. is kind of crazy it's really confusing and you can look it up yourself Mm -hmm. but there's a possibility there um and then uh other ways of communicating, which I think the tech is pretty sweet, are those mesh network mm-hmm. uh, devices. The Go 10 is one that we've used. Um, you have to really have a, a good – it depends a lot on where you're at. And, and if yeah. this is where you're relying primarily for your communication, you're going to have to find a location that will benefit. Work. Because – you know, I've taken it up to the cabin, and, and just a few bumps, it doesn't work. Um, it's crazy. It, so any any like line of sight, if you're sitting in a valley and, and people are, mm-hmm. or if you maybe you have a camp like up on the hillside, that would work perfect because mm-hmm. you have this great line of sight. But and even better, and I haven't used anything beyond two. You know, if you get mm-hmm. four or five or six, then you can bounce off from each other, and, and you can probably go up over those mounds, mm. <laughs> bumps. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's a yeah. a unique and crazy cool tech uh, to keep communication in a closed network. You know, you yeah. don't have to rely on all the public network and cell phones and things like that. I like so it. anyway, um, real brief on that because we've already talked about communications. Look into some of those devices. Have a variety of them because um, it'll make your life way easier. I agree. I agree. I want to talk about a few um, in food, water, and cooking and things like that. There's a couple things we can look at that are kind of high-tech. Some of them are like high-tech slash low-tech. So solar ovens, we haven't talked about those a lot. And they're not really high-tech, but you know what I mean? Because it's basically they're really basic. The sun's been there for years. Sun, yeah, we've been using the sun for a long, long time, <laughs> I tell you. Um, but, you know, basically what a solar oven does, is so instead of converting solar energy to electricity, solar ovens tra- trap light particles. But what? you didn't know that? Yeah. They're called photons, okay, to generate heat with the help of metal reflectors, which are positioned around the oven to maximize light input. Photons pass through the oven's transparent glass top and strike the interior of an insulated box. So basically, they're using the sun, the rays, it goes in there, it cooks your food, num, num, sounds good. But basically, you can do all types of cooking, but you can't fry stuff. You're not going to get that hot. It's just not going to happen. So good solar ovens can go to about 400 degrees. So you Whoa. can do a lot of stuff with that, right? That's not bad. Um, 
So that's I, when you start getting like midichlorians in there mm-hmm. and yeah, midichlorians. That's exactly what you get in there. Um, so I found one on Amazon. It's like the all American sun oven. Sounds patriotic. I'd buy it. Um, <laughs> Is two, it made in America? It's probably made in Taiwan. Um, 276 bucks. So I mean, not cheap, Wow. but you could cook stuff with the sun. That's interesting. So they anyways, are pretty interesting. Think about um, that. Remember that when we went to the uh, Pepper Con? Oh, yeah. That guy, like, talked yeah. our ear off. Uh, I don't want to like, hear about it anymore, dude. Uh, dude, I understand the sun cooks stuff. <laughs> it's cool. Sun's hot. Warm food's good. <laughs> All right. This conversation's cold. I got to leave. <laughs> um, another thing with cooking, we've talked about these before, too. I think too. the cooking technology has, like, Kind of been a big focus mm-hmm. with like preppers, and yeah, because like, like the little steam packs and all that. Exactly, crap. So, that's right. what I want to talk about right now. Flameless, oh, cool, cool, cool. flameless oh, cookers. Yeah. Yeah, right there. All right, um, we've talked about these before. There's there's a couple of them on the market. There might even be more than this, but the hydro heat or the barrel cook ones. We've, barrel cook. Barrel cook. <laughs> um, so basically, you you need some water. If you haven't seen these, you got to check them out. They're insane. Like, they're so cool to see in person. Yeah. You're like, what? This is working. Yeah, so you, you have this little container. You put some water in It blew in there. my parents' mind, that's Did for it? sure. Yeah. And then you throw a, look, this little pack in that looks like um, looks like an oatmeal pack almost. Or a hand or warmer. Or a hand warmer. You throw it in there. You put the top on. The chemicals inside that pack re- react with the water, and they create heat. I mean, it's crazy. There's no flames. It really is crazy. There's no flames. There's no smoke. There's hardly any noise. I mean, you hear the boiling. I mean, it doesn't really boil, though. It's just like bubbles. Um, you could literally cook in a closed barrel, and yeah, you won't die. You won't die. It's crazy. So it's basically, it's really, really good for heating, like, freeze-dried meals, like, if you yeah. want to do it in your basement or... Um, That's yeah. a hard thing. Heating water down mm. in, like, in, a, in a confined area, Yeah, it's like... You don't uh, want to use propane and kill yourself. Because all those, all those, like storage foods are yeah. like they need water unless you can find like a protein uh <laughs> cooker uh, I, I, I think i've seen them on amazon so if you get those those are safe for indoor use it's p-r-o-t-a-n-e so go find it see if you can find it if you can send us a photo yeah because i've do. heard they're great i've heard they're great uh, protein is like an amazing fuel yeah protein super um, hot on, super clean yeah no, no emissions whatsoever. No nope. um, protein. Basically, I think they make it from like old dandelions or something. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's just really good for the environment. Really good for whatever. It's about what the mean? most clean. It's probably the cleanest yeah. and greatest yeah. discovery since yeah. estrogen free. Um, <laughs> no fat, gluten free. Um, you can drink it. Yeah, that's the cool thing about yeah. it. You can clean your keyboard off with it. Uh huh. Yeah, I think they actually use it in cams all. You can purpose. fill balloons for kids. Oh yeah, floats. you can do that. I didn't know you could do that, but yeah, yeah in in the air in the gas version, the air version <laughs> of protein. <laughs> it's the air version, <laughs> colorless, orderless. Yeah, it's no, amazing. it's pretty good. Yeah, you, you can run a vehicle off of it. It's really good stuff. <laughs> um, so, anyways. <laughs> So, yeah, amazing these are great fuel. for amazing fuel, heating water and stuff, but you can't really cook anything with it. Um, but it's great. So you can get from Bear Cook, you can get th- with the little cooker, and you can get yeah, a mug. No, like sustained heat, huh? Yeah, heat exactly. Continue. So you can get um, a, a mug and the cooker right. plus 10 packs for 60 bucks on Amazon. Hydro Heat, you can get the cooker for 20 bucks and then 12 bucks for a 10-pack of packets. So anyways... Kind of cool thing to look into. It's some crazy technology. Um, another thing we've talked about several times is the BioLite, the camp stove too. So basically, it's a patented technology um, using combustion that creates a vortex of smokeless flames for a portable campfire. Really kind of a cool deal. Crazy. These are great for cooking outdoors. Um, and basically, when you're cooking, it's going to generate power, and you don't have to have sun. Yeah. It, it just uses the heat. So you can just use whatever. We have a video of around. these. Yeah, we did do one. a video. Mm-hmm. You burn I think it's s- weird. It's like a blast furnace, too. It is, man. It's crazy. Like, not only are you getting energy production, but you're mm-hmm. like, you're making an really an immense amount of heat. And, like, and there's no smoke. We radiated a, a forest using oh, yeah. ours. Absolutely. Yeah. Had to turn the topsoil over. It was crazy. Kill a few animals. It was worth it, though. Yeah. Um, it, so yeah, so you can charge phones with it, you know, you can power some lights. You have three watts of generated power, so it's not a lot, but it's kind of cool. It's a cool little deal that you can use. 130 bucks, they weigh about two pounds. You can boil a liter in four and a half minutes. So it's it's yeah, a cool little product, I tell you. Sure is. Uh huh. So uh, let's talk about a cool product I found for uh, water sterilization. Water's way cool. It is, I love water. My water skills are it's fantastic. one of the greatest inventions made since yeah. the Earth. 
Yeah, that was a good one. They they did well <laughs> with that with water. <laughs> well, um, whoever came up with that, yeah, putting those two elements. In. Um, so if you're just of a steri pen, Cam, it's they're kind of interesting. Sterilizing pen, it, but it is really inject your nuts with it. <laughs> no, don't you don't. Inject and your... you don't even need to have. <laughs> yeah. Of a second. So basically, it's this little, it looks like it's about the size of a pen, a little bit bigger, but it has a light on the end of it, a UV light. So basically, you oh, yeah. you stick it into some water. Huh? Um, yeah. Show me. You, <laughs> look, this is the water, <laughs> and you stick it in there, and then you kind of do this. So um, it uses UV light rays instead of chemicals to purify your drinking water. And it's actually. It, how long did it say you need to put it in there? Because I was. Yeah, it, it seems like in 16 to... ounces, it takes 48 seconds. No kidding. Thirty-two ounces takes ninety that is seconds. A joke. It is. It's hilarious. It's joke. like a glow stick too. Kids can have fun with it. I know. Yeah, <laughs> stick it up your nose and then it'll like blow out your nose. It stops those one zombies in what? the game. Remember UV light? Oh yeah, on. that's right. What was that? <laughs> what is it? I don't know. The one where you're like parkouring everywhere. Oh, da- dying light. Yeah, yeah, remember you had that was funny. Bing. That's right. Um, so it's rechargeable. It does up to eight thousand liters, um, which is not bad. You know. Um, it's not 100,000. You can do about 50 liters um, before you need to power it up. That's so crazy. It's, not, it's like 110 bucks. You can find it on Amazon. SteriPen. Interesting stuff. It really is. So does it? Is it only like a direct beam or does it come off like a wand? It comes off a wand. Does it? Yeah. I think those sterilize like surfaces too. They might. You can sterilize know. everything. Yeah. Sterilize protein. Before you grow... <laughs> <laughs> I will take you into our group, but I need to run this oh, over your oh. organs. <laughs> You're good. Okay. Yeah, well, that's interesting. Yep. Um, getting around like a <laughs> like a slutty prefer. <laughs> Is that what he's saying? Oh, <laughs> transportation. I get you. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to do this. You know, obviously the bug out vehicle is the big thing, the cool mm-hmm. thing. But um, Airplanes, helicopters. Fossil fuel is going to run out someday. Blackhawk. People aren't going to be oiling rigging drilling they probably will honestly no that's true somebody be running a rig <laughs> i got a solar pod rig out here <laughs> sun's been drilling us up for <laughs> yeah. years so uh ways to transport uh, there's some cool devices out there if you don't want to be full-on gas-powered sweet bug out vehicle mm. you want to be economical mm. and earth happy earth safe friendly get a protein power get a protein <laughs> <laughs> all around good use <laughs> So they have electrical folding bikes. Have you ever have you ever used an e-bike? I haven't. Like I rode I one, and oh, the, you did. You could freaking like peel out and pop a wheelie. Really? Like yeah, you start pedaling as soon as it kicks in. You're like, <laughs> I want to try I it. Threw so some bad. gravel. That's awesome. But yeah, um, we took one on a mountain bike thing. Uh, Mike was the one that actually used it. Mike, oh, really? uh, my brother's friend. Yeah. And uh, pedaling up the hill, you know, we're like, Ugh, and he's like. <laughs> So traveling awesome. like through mountain range and everything, you know, it's stealthy. It's yeah. quiet. Oh yeah. Um, they're heavy, but they even have ones that'll like fold up. But it gives you that much more um, ability to, to yeah. go that much further without more know, range. Yeah. Yeah. Using all your they're using them a lot now with hunting. human fuel. Oh yeah, they're using them a lot in hunting. That makes a lot of sense because they're quiet. Yeah, they don't make a lot of noise. All you can hear is pine cones crackling. Hear them. They're quiet. They don't make a lot of noise, and you can't hear. Them. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Good stuff, and um, they're silent. Yeah, yeah, they're they're also silent. You're right. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Their website. <laughs> they're quiet. They're stealthy. Can't hear them. They're silent, and you don't. And they're completely silent. <laughs> oh, are the only things four to five is? people don't hear them <laughs> <laughs> at a range of zero to yeah. two thousand meters. Yeah. Can't be heard. Can't be heard. Um, so, anyways, the electrical folding bike probably the most comfortable and least. Re- like ridiculous looking. <laughs> okay. I tried to cut that oh, word. Like, that re- ridiculous. Well, uh, a retard is now a, you can't a super say it. bad swear yeah, word. Can't so say it. Can't say I'm it. not going to say that. I did, but I didn't put it in context <laughs> there. I'm, I'm ridiculous. Instead of saying it, I'm going to sound like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> I know. You're not getting any better. Okay. Anyway, um, so the electric scooter. <laughs> You know that that'll work. <laughs> You'll look pretty next, ridiculous. Next, the Segway, you know, like on Arrested Development, yeah, where he's like, just, yeah, those go for a long time, they and do. Um, you can get around with those. Probably don't want to take him off road. They have um, off road ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do they? Yeah. <laughs> Big old fat tires. What's wrong with people? <laughs> 
um, electric unicycle. <laughs> Have you seen the ones where you just like squeeze between mm. your heels and it's like oh they're so dumb looking oh yes i have seen those yeah yeah it's like, like one wheel big fat wheel and you just yeah Mirr. yeah there's a lot of different ways you know um if you're in a city or something these would all be pretty convenient the have you seen the outrider it's like mm. a it's like a it's like four pedal back pedal back <laughs> <laughs> it's a pedal back <laughs> it's european <laughs> <laughs> i think it's from yugoslavia or something it's a pedal <laughs> <laughs> um anyways it has pedal bike tires and then it's it's battery operated and it's one that you kind of just sit in a normal seat and pedal like oh, you kind of seen those yeah but these if you go to uh outrider usa they're they're pretty sweet like they have off-road ones they have a little bigger tires the only thing is like the price um they're like uh, Thirteen thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! Yeah, but I mean, if you want to be, I'll buy a Hyundai. You, <laughs> I'll buy a Nissan Leaf. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Um, yeah, so they're real expensive, but I, I, they're pretty versatile. I mean, they can break down real, like not break. You can break them down. <laughs> you can break them. That, this shit will break down easy. <laughs> That's a poor choice of words. <laughs> you can fold them up and and take them apart easily. Yeah. <laughs> You'll love them. Thirteen thousand dollars breakdown yeah. next day. Breakdown so easy. So yeah. Easy. So anyway, Outrider Actually. USA. So there's a. I mean, I'd look probably for an electric bike, motorcycle type yeah. thing because that makes the most sense. All that other crap you can have fun <laughs> okay. with. Good idea. Um, but yeah, I, and then yeah, that's about all I have. There's okay. so many little things so, you could do for transportation, but yeah, I would look at electric bikes mm-hmm. and I would look at like those little four wheel electric motor. Mm-hmm. Um, other things. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Break it down really. <laughs> so, Cam, I, I had some thoughts. I'm like, w- what good could Alexa or Google Home be for a prepper? Right. Right? And I said, I, I opposed this question to Cameron. Yeah, and he said, oh, I, um, I got some ideas. Let me take it from well, here. Let me take it from here, young sir. Yeah. So, um, we use ours a lot for communicating on the different floors, you know. <laughs> Broadcast message. Tell kids to get the up here <laughs> dinner time broadcast um, message tell kids not to come to mommy and daddy's room for 10 minutes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey google lock doors hey google initiate bow chicka wow wow <laughs> sequence <laughs> uh yeah so um you can still like i was talking about have your closed network um mm-hmm. connect all those devices your light switches your cameras your uh door locks all that can still be connected to your you know your power system at home you don't need the internet and then you just run it off from that you just say hey google lock your doors Mm -hmm. hey google show me video of uh neighbors in neighbor's bedroom (laughs) (laughs) no like you can use them for outdoor cameras and everything it still all works and so it's just convenient you know um it's a it's a luxury right now but Mm -hmm. it still is very useful for surveillance and like i said once the internet's out, you don't lose those systems. I don't know about Alexa. I don't use Alexa, so I've maybe when it's it. off, it's like finding the internet. Yeah. I Are you know. ordering anything from Amazon? If not, <laughs> disabled. Disabled. Yeah. But yeah, ordering um, internet from Amazon. so yeah, like camera feeds, locking doors, broadcasting messages, communications. It can all still be used, mm-hmm. you know, in your household with that stuff. So I like it. Still useful. Yeah. Close your garage door. Yeah. Because okay. people leave that open all the time. You know what I was even thinking? Do you remember the the Tesla that one of the Teslas that has like the apocalypse mode? Oh yeah. Do you remember it that? It filters the inside. Yeah. That is amazing. That's something we should have talked That's about. That's technology there. Well, we're talking about it right now. You got a battery. Mm-hmm. You got vehicle. Uh, a vehicle. Joe Von Musk and smell on the inside. <laughs> Joe Von Musk, is that what you said? <laughs> Elon Musk. He got Joe Von Musk. It smells delicious. Oh, that, that's Elon's cousin, Joe Von. <laughs> Now, my brother makes cars. I'm like perfume. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Never mind. I'm anyway, go I'm yeah. not gonna go there. Um, <laughs> so uh, here's some other things I was thinking about. That's camp. true. I don't know. We didn't mention that. No. Good job. Good job bringing that up. Also, I, I think you know we're talking about high tech. What about social media for preppers? Is there uses there? I, and I think there is, obviously, because look, this is how we operate is via social media with everything that we're doing. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Social media as a high tech, you know. Yeah. It, it, There's a lot of people that post like, this is what I have in my bug out bag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're from a different country as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, people will post like guides of like what they put in their bug out bags, what mm-hmm. they put in their medical kits and then pictures and all that. So yeah. 
I, I think mean, the social media is freaking useful. The internets are good. Yeah. For you don't need batteries. Stuff. You don't. Well, well in, in a yeah. way. Have you have you ever seen these Zippo hand warmers? Yeah, I still wanted to try one. I want I want one bad. Those are kind of high tech, but um, they're just battery operated hand warmers. Yeah. <laughs> That's something. Why didn't that come over? Why didn't I? Yeah, you put it in your pants and you're warm. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's always warm in my pants. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, isn't there one also that's a little fire? Uh-huh. That's super weird to me. That, I don't, I don't I gotta play that. i got to fire my pants I don't play that game. right now. I don't play that game. I would use that joke I would, oh, repeatedly oh, if I had gosh. that. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Honey, I got something cooking in my pants right now. <laughs> what? Is Look, it, it's a simple is thing. Is it cold out here? <laughs> my pants are hot. Honey. Yeah. Honey, honey, honey. <laughs> um, so I think I'd mentioned this too. There's a, there's like a YouTube video. And then I found you can actually go and buy the starter kit from Real Century Gun. It's a freaking remote turret. And they have different sizes. This is the scariest thing on earth. Um, they have like video showing use of like a real handgun. And then most of the time they have a paintball gun. Yeah. Which is what I would suggest you all use for defense, <laughs> yes. not a freaking AR hooked to a, a, a turret. turret, and you have no technological uh, skill. But um, you can get the starter kit from RealCenturyGun.com that gives you the program, and then like so, it just runs off some software, servos, and like how you can actually oh use gosh. how you can build one. And um, they're really not that complex, and it's freaky. Really? <laughs> Maybe you could do that. Hey, Google. Shoot. Fire a few rounds over the neighbor's house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, my gosh. But, yeah, so uh, you can get this starter kit or you can get a built kit. I, they're all sold out, which is even more creepy. Um, <laughs> $670 got you, like, the full-size one. And it's made with, like, uh, um, it's made with, like, the PV, not PVC. What's the? Uh, Protein? The regular, like, plumbing pipe stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. And it's, like, it's a tripod, and then it has, like, a base and it has servos and a wireless wow. connection. And he's like like moving around. He, he's watching a video feed yeah. on his phone. And he can like, like they, they throw a box across and he's like. <laughs> oh he gosh. hits it with the. <laughs> anyways, I was like, man, starter kit for 50 bucks. So That's crazy. If you really want to go all out and be yeah. terrifying in your neighborhood, <sighs> put up a turret. That'll do it. I actually kind of want to build one just to like. We ought to call them and just maybe they'll send us one for, <laughs> the, for the podcast. The gun come with it or. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a serial number or some number on that gun? Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. So there's some crazy stuff out there. there uh, but a remote turret would be pretty uh, deterring mm-hmm. for anybody trying yeah, to get in would. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, real quick, mm-hmm. I want to talk about survival boxes. The only subscription box packed with all the essential survival supplies that you need to prep for surviving disasters, emergencies, or your next outdoor adventure. There are many different boxes to choose from, so you can order the survival food, water, gear, and uh, required for your survival plan. Sign up today, right now, right away, Mm -hmm. to get your survival box delivered to your doorstep every month. No contracts. Cancel anytime if you don't like it. Mm -hmm. Use promo code CASUALPREPPERS for 10% off from your first box uh, on any subscription or store order at survivalbox.com. Beautiful, Cameron. Well you, said. Uh, if you get one of these, you're gonna have a hard time canceling. I you are guarantee. It. Yeah, like you're gonna be like, oh, I'll go you one more. <laughs> so right. we have a uh, review today. It is a uh, tack pack. Uh, how fun is that? Everybody loves tack pack. Yeah. So uh, oh, come on. <laughs> the first thing in there is a tack pack tumbler. Twenty dollars. It is a beautiful <laughs> tumbler. Go on, go on twice. <laughs> It yeah. is a real sweet tumbler. Hey, look how it's sexy. <laughs> it's sexy. It's black. This is from Batman. Stainless I think. steel. Mm. Hot stuff, hot. Cold stuff, cold. <laughs> All those things. There's hot stuff, but there's hot stuff going in it. <laughs> yeah. Then we got the JE Machine Backup Sights. Um, so it's backup sights, man. How do you like that? Beep. If you get go, if you get going, you have a faulty optic or something. Those it's are in the box. I don't want to take it. Yeah, out. there they are. It does. It looks kind of just like this simple little iron sight. Mm-hmm. Because that's what it is. That's what they see, right? And then we got the Gun Tech Trigger Guard, fifteen dollar value, made from T six aluminum. It's my favorite type of aluminum. This lightweight guard features a matte finish, plus has extra wide opening to those beefy mechanic gloves we sent. I love wide openings. Yeah, and then they got the X Steel Tack Pack. Target, sir, you find that? Is that no? That's the you're at the grip. That's the X Tech grip. Where's the other thing? I don't know. It's in there somewhere. There's one right in front of you. Oh, that's 
<laughs> can you reverse the video? Yeah, no, I can't. And then the last thing is, yeah, the Tac Pack target. The Tac Pack target's cool, man. Look I'm at not it. I'm showing you the right things. Ding. See how heavy that is? Um, did it come with a morale can you patch? you see how heavy that is? Did it come with a morale <laughs> patch? Yeah. And a morale patch. Wow. Oh, I hit the hit the camera. That was cool. Good job. Yeah, so uh, get your own tack pack. And do if it now. If you have a lot of guns, um, mm-hmm. you will use everything they always send. It's everything. time for the quick and dirty medical tip. Okay, so the quick and dirty. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about like three devices, technological devices oh, yeah. that make um, make your life a lot easier okay. and have a lot of medical uses. So the cautery pan. Mm. So these are sweet because they. Uh, they're a pan. Mm-hmm. You can carry it in your backpack. They're pretty small. But um, they just have a battery in them. You push the button, and it lights up the little element. So you get this super hot um, element. It's super hot. Oh, I guess. We use them a lot for, like, um, like when you smash your fingernail, you get that hematoma Ooh, underneath. I hate a hematoma. And so you can, like, burn through the nail with mm-hmm. – yeah, there's a lot of different ways. But this is super easy because it's sterile because it gets – like flaming hot. hot and then you just pass it through don't feel it relieves pressure it's great mm. but these can also be used to you know cauterize like bleeding mm-hmm. blood vessels um skin lesions warts branding yeah yeah you could you yeah could. you're part of this group <laughs> <laughs> exactly um C-P. 20 dollars will get you a pin on amazon cool 20 bucks i like that so the cautery pin is sweet lots of uses mm-hmm. um get your arm cut off burn those nerves going to be good you're going to be good good as new in no time yep the pulse oximeter um is pretty available everywhere now walgreens walmart is that what they, things like that they used them back to the future yes to go back in time <laughs> yeah Wasn't 1985 right? pulse oximeter <laughs> flux capacitor oh the flux capacitor that's right yeah it sounds <laughs> it's exactly the same thing really you put it on your finger and you teleport in time yeah <laughs> um so the uh pulse oximeter does just that it's check your pulse and it checks your oxygen level mm-hmm. um they're really useful for somebody that's sick and you're kind of concerned are they breathing all right are they getting mm-hmm. enough oxygen you know it has its limitations but it's used in all medical settings mm-hmm. and it's it's affordable you can get one for like 40 bucks 30 that's bucks not too a bad. good one and um you know you can check your elderly folks mm-hmm. pulse and uh, you can check your kids you know that's the thing that we always look at it's like bronchitis you're coughing you get pneumonia watch their oxygen it's an easy way to do it it's mm-hmm. a great thing to have in your kit and then the other thing is the uh, uh otoscope you know for looking in ears those are fairly affordable if you go to like the the witch the welch witch welch witch.com yeah i'm not even, i don't know if i'm saying the brand right welch allen anyway those are the real nice ones and you're looking at like 300 dollars um you don't need one that fancy. The the conveniences of those is one. I mean, ear infections you can't see inside there, and mm. moms come to me all the time for it. Yeah, but and, you know, SHTF you can't get to. You want to see what's bothering, why they're crying, what what their pain is. You can look in there, and these otoscopes you can get a, a cheaper one that's available. Basically, all it is just like a little. Um, led light Mm -hmm. with a magnifying glass on the end yeah you you can make one but i wouldn't do it and stick it in your ear (laughs) so you can get these they're pretty cheap and then we use them all the time for you know illuminating like different lesions and you can illuminate sinuses and abscess to see if you know if it's full of fluid or blood kind of um anyway that's beyond what i want you to use it for (laughs) Um, but looking in orifices, yeah, it's actually really good too. Uh, sore throats, we use that all the time for that. So it's useful, it's affordable. You can get one. Um, those are three things I just thought I'd add in the medical cool. tips that are technological advancements. I love it. That are useful. Well done, Cameron. So. Appreciate it. Thanks, no, guys. I appreciate you. Thanks, guys. No for commenting <laughs> on stuff right now. <laughs> stop <them. laughs> Thanks for stopping by, and listening. Uh, we appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing. Um, Anything else, Cameron? No, I'm done. All right. See you guys.